everybody, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can tell by the tree behind me, I'm home. I am home for the holidays. I got home about a week ago and it has been so amazing to be home once again back in New York. And I just had a wonderful Christmas with them. It's been great to hang out with them, see them again. I've been doing a lot of fun family activities and it's been amazing. It's really fun to sit back here and film a video that I have been filming for you guys for the past three years. This is my fourth year filming my Christmas haul. Now, I just want to put out there that um, you know, the past few years I've been getting fewer and fewer gifts, especially this year here and now, you know, college is a really big expense for me and my parents, obviously. So I was warned, not warned, but you know, like we, you know, knew we had to make some sacrifices because the college I go to is obviously not a little state school, it's a private school, and it's expensive. So I knew that we weren't going to do a huge Christmas this year, that it wasn't going to be, you know, filled with a ton of gifts. And honestly, like, as you get older, I feel like you get more excited to just spend time with your family and the people around you than like the material parts of Christmas um, because that is not what I was excited for this year. I was just excited to see my family and spend time with them. So therefore I don't have a ton to show you guys um, but I have been doing this like I said on my channel for the past three years and I figured you know hey it's still a fun video to do tis the season and I know a lot of you guys tend to request it so yeah here is my Christmas haul for 2018. So as usual I like to start with the stocking. My family like all of us do stockings so I put everything in my stocking in a pink bag um, so that's why it sounds like it's in a bag because it is. So um, a lot of it's candy and there's a lot here I'm just gonna kind of go through it pretty quick. Um, yeah here is what I got in my stocking. Starting off we have some really fancy soap. Um, this is like I don't even know if you guys can see in there it is super fancy. I don't know. A lot of little bits but it looks like this and it has like flowers and stuff. It's really fancy and it's gonna make a lot of crumbles. Oh my god, <laughs> already making bits. I almost don't wanna use it because it's just like that beautiful, you know what I mean? But yes, oh my god, it smells like, I don't even know, just magic, it's beautiful. Next, I got a bunch of scratch offs because my family and I love to do these at Christmas time and you know what, I haven't done it yet, so maybe I'll end up winning like a million bucks. That would pay for college. <laughs> Next, I got some double truffle hot chocolate. We love hot cocoa. I got some more makeup remover. This is just my eye makeup remover that I use every day to like remove my eyeliner and stuff. And I got some more of it. Next, I got a rinse off foaming cleanser, which I actually used yesterday in like the afternoon to clean my face. And it's like a foaming mousse thing and it works pretty well. It's from Clinique. Then this cracked me up. I got this Clinique Crayola <laughs> lip gloss slash lipstick pack. It deadass looks like crayons. Like I was like, mom, did you get me crayons? I was so confused when I first opened this. But no, it's little lipsticks that look like crayons. So I guess Clinique and Crayola, they, uh, they did a brand deal together. They collabed. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really cute like just pinks and stuff, you know, things that I would wear. So I'm excited to try all these colors. Next, I got this little um, aromatherapy eucalyptus and spearmint stress relief body lotion. My friend got me a huge thing of this um, last year and it's been here. Not, I didn't take it to college with me because it's glass and I didn't want it to break. So I can bring this with me back to my dorm since it's plastic. Then my dad got me a bunch of like political <laughs> and historical like gag gifts because he's a historian. So <laughs> he got me a bunch of stuff. Um, some of it I suppose could be offensive, so I'm sorry in advance. But I mean, we just, we laugh about it here in this house. But this one is a Rosie the Riveter lip balm and it has her on it. It says we can do it. <laughs> it's really cute. It's cherry flavored though and I'm not a huge cherry fan, but like it's just, you know, it's the funny and thought that counts, so. <laughs> Next, I got a magnet that I think I'm gonna put on our fridge in my dorm, and it's a magnet of Putin holding little baby Trump, if you can see that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really funny, and I think my roommates will also find it funny, so I'm gonna put this on our refrigerator. <laughs> Next, I got this Massage Envy gift card. Um, it's a massage place nearby, and I just got a little gift card, and um, $50 from Santa, thank you. And I can either get like a massage or a facial, Personally, I really need a facial, so I'm probably gonna go and do that because <laughs> my skin needs it. Next, I got the classic Lint Bear as well as a big dark chocolate Lint Santa. These are just like always in my stocking every year. Gotta love that Lint chocolate. Next, I got some milk and dark chocolate covered grams. My dad also got peppermint grams, so I think we're probably gonna like try both, but these look very yummy. Next, I got this Clinique Moisture Surge, so it's um, more lotion. Then, here comes the political thing. Uh, this is <laughs> Trump's Small Hand Soap. We love my father. Yeah, he got that for me, so that's, that's fun. It smells nice. 
It smells pretty good, so definitely will use that. Another Trump related thing is he got me, oh my god, <laughs> I can't even say it so long. He got me national embarrassments. <laughs> And they have Trump's face in them, and he goes, they're huge! And it says, just a lot of funny things on it, so we love that. Also, the soap says, for dirty politics on one side, and the other side it says, make America bathe again, which honestly, accurate. <laughs> Next, I got some peanut butter toffee bark, delicious. I also got a gourmet candy cane, always a good time. Then, my, okay, I cannot believe my parents got this for me. This is also sort of like a gag gift. They got me freaking bean boozled. Like, we're back to 2013, apparently, um, because I literally did this challenge, I think I did it in 2014, or maybe, maybe it was 2015, whatever, like, year it was popular, I think it was 2015, and I did, I think, like, the fourth or third edition. This is the friggin' fifth edition, and I've always been joking about wanting to try out the new flavors, and, um, yeah, now they have new flavors, like, dead fish and, um, spoiled milk, which I haven't tried. They also have stink bug and toasted marshmallow, or dirty dishwater and, and birthday cake. So I kind of want to try this again. Um, I feel like it's very outdated and like nobody does this anymore and like I'm the only one that would actually do it Like I need to find a friend that will do this with me Which would be a little hard, um, but yeah Comment down below if you guys actually want me to film like another Bean Boozled challenge Because yeah, literally the one I did was like four years ago So if you want an updated Bean Boozled challenge with the new flavors, let me know I still can't even believe they got this for me <laughs> Next, I got these gourmet um, holiday caramel pretzel rods. Very delicious. Then I got this Clinique um, Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I have very oily skin, so I needed lotion that had no oil in it um, for like the dry parts of my skin. So this is supposed to be good for oily skin and not have excess oil in it. So we're gonna give it a try. Um, I need a lotion like this, so I'm excited to use this. Then I have this whole thing of delicious pretzels. They are white chocolate covered pretzels with little specks, and they're little trees, if you can tell. Very cute. And then lastly, I got two little chocolate bars. Um, this one is salted caramel, and this one is dark chocolate with sea salt, which are like my two favorite things ever. So we love her. Oh, and then finally, I just got like a bunch of little candy in here. Um, it's just like a bunch of lints. Um, you know, little snowmen, stuff like that. Oh, they're dropping everywhere. But yeah, just, okay. <laughs> Extra candy is what I got. And that is everything that I got in my stocking. So just like, you know, little, little treats and things like that. Very fun. Now I'm gonna move on to gifts. From some extended family, um, I also did get like money, um, and stuff. But obviously like, I can't show that. So I just want to say though that I am very thankful for like the money and gifts like that that I've gotten. Really, really appreciate it. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys like gifts that I can actually show you now um, So the first thing this isn't really in that particular order um, I'll try to leave like the two big things to the end But first thing I got was this necklace if I can show you um, Okay, it came out. It's some certain stone and I'm totally blanking on what it is But um, it looks like this. It's just like black little rectangle and my mom said that it's it's like kind of like a choker necklace, so it's meant to go like right here, which is honestly, I wanted a necklace this size really badly. I didn't even tell my mom, so she just read my mind. And this is so cute, and I would definitely wear this, so I'm very excited to wear that. Next thing I got is another little piece of jewelry. Um, I think this actually might have been in my stocking, I don't know. But um, it's a little ring, and it's my size, which is hard to find because I have really small fingers. But it looks like this. And once again, like, I don't know how she knows that I wanted a ring like this because I didn't tell her, but she just has great taste. And it's a, it's 14 karat gold filled, fancy. It's sterling silver. Um, yeah, really, really cute. And I'm just excited to have some new jewelry to wear. Then, <laughs> my mom got this for free. <laughs> she bought some stuff from American Eagle, which you'll also see later in the video. And then she got this for free. They were giving out these message LED light boxes. So it comes with a bunch of these LED letters as well as like little emojis. And then you put it on this thing and it lights up and like you can write something on it. She thought it'd be fun for me to take to college with me, um, like back to my dorm. But we already kind of have like a little message board that we write things on. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna bring this with me. I might just leave it here and use it next year because my roommates already have like a little message board. Um, but maybe if I, you know, we want to change it up because this one lights up in LED and stuff, so that could be fun. So I kind of want to play around with this and maybe I'll end up bringing it to college. <laughs> next, from some Canadian family, I got a little hat. It's like a little knitted beanie. I think, I don't know if my, um, 
I don't know if my family member actually knitted this because it, it looks like it's kind of like homemade almost. It also looks really small and I have like a fear I'm not going to be able to fit it on my head. But it's really really cute and it's like warm and you know it's knit which I really like. I wanted a knit beanie and I really like the little pom poms. So I think, I don't know, <laughs> we'll see if I can wear this. It might not fit my head because I kind of have a big head. So we'll see. <laughs> Next, my mom got me. <sighs> my brand two flannels that are actually so soft she got them for american eagle and i literally love them such cute colors first she got me this one which is so freaking cute it's like has a bunch of different blues and purples little reds in it and it's so so soft huh i cannot wait to wear this so freaking cute and it's like the softest thing like it's amazing she also got me this flannel which oh my god i literally love it's like green and white and black and it is once again my brand like this is so me it is so freaking cute i cannot wait to wear this i need new clothes we've talked about it my mom and i are discussing completely revamping my wardrobe um and this is a start because i love flannels still love flannels okay and that's we're basically to the end of it um there's just two last things i'm going to show you guys um this is the big unexpected gift that i literally did not think my mom was going to get me and they're out of the box but my mom got me Cherry Red Vegan Doc Martens. Oh my goodness, guys. I literally was not expecting this at all. And it's really funny because last week, um, I was home alone and I knew my mom was waiting for another package because she said so. And I saw a Journeys box that was actually addressed to me outside. And I called my mom and I was like, am I supposed to open this? It's addressed to me. And she was like, no, no, no. Um, I just, I used your discount to get something, but you can't open it. It's for your dad. And I was like, okay. And in my head, I was a little suspicious because I was like, what would she get my dad from journeys? Um, you know, and, okay, and I had no clue it would be this. I need new Converse, so I thought if anything it was just gonna be like new Converse, but then I would be like, why would she use my discount on new Converse? Like, new Converse with my discount would be like $35, and like I could pay for that. And so I kind of like forgot about it, and then when I opened the big gift from her, it was these, and I was not expecting it, and I'm so happy because these are one of the things, and she said it herself, she's like, it's one of those things that I know you're not gonna buy for yourself. And I was like, honestly, mama, you right. Because my whole plan was that once my crappy combat boots that I have, like my black ones, once those completely fall apart, I was gonna get docs. But like, I'm just so happy she got these ones for me because the ones that I have are black, and these, are really nice and they're red and I just love this color and honestly she's right like I would not buy these for me like I just I love these so much um the break-in process is gonna be hell this is my first pair of docs like how how is it my first pair of docs I don't know like very overdue for some docs and my boss is literally like a, she's obsessed with docs and I tried these on and like I said the break-in process is gonna suck I know because I work at journeys and I tell everyone that but they're so freaking cute. I cannot wait to wear them. Oh, so yeah, this was like a huge surprise and I love these so much. And then the final big gift that I got was actually like the only thing I literally asked for. Um, and that was AirPods. I got some AirPods. This is the only thing that I wanted for Christmas this year. And I literally told my parents, I was like, if you guys don't want to get them for me, because I know we're doing like a really small Christmas, I will buy them for myself. Like I wanted these so bad for multiple reasons. Obviously, you know, I got a new phone late the end of this year. And um, like, you know, Apple doesn't allow you now to listen to music while you charge your phone. And like, that's an issue, especially like in the morning when I want to charge my phone and get ready. But I can't like just music out loud because like my roommates would be sleeping and you know it was really annoying also now taking public transit everywhere in Chicago having like my backpack with my cords you know with my headphone cords with like my coat like I would always just get like stuck in the cords so annoying and I know that's like you know it's a convenience thing honestly um, so yeah I literally wanted these my roommate has them she's obsessed with them she loves them she says they're like the best investment ever and I just want to like be able to edit with them, you know, they're like futuristic -y and it's cool. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited. My dad got these for me. Thank you, dad. These are amazing. And yeah, they just open like that and they look like that and I'll take them out, but they're legit the cutest things ever. And they just charge in here. It's like the best thing ever. They're so freaking cute. I feel so freaking futuristic when I put them in my ears. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I think I look so cool <laughs> with these in my ears. I don't know, man. Okay, I'm so excited about these. I was testing them out, listening to music. Like, the sound quality of these things, I don't know if it's just me, 
but it's so good. Like I was testing them out last night, I was bopping around. The sound quality on these things is seriously amazing and you can control like what you want each one to do. So if you tap one, you can control what it does. So I made it so if I tap the right one, it pauses and plays the song. And if I tap the left one, it makes it skip forward. The only thing I don't like about them is that you can't control the volume with them. You know how you used to have that little button on the headphone, you know, strings? Now that's not there. You'd have to actually like press your phone. But seriously, like I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited. I love these, they're the best. Also, even though I just knocked it out, these things literally stay in your ears so well. I kid you not, I was head banging. I was flinging my entire head around and they did not fall out. Like I was testing to see how well they'd stay in my ears and they are literally staying so well. They're so comfy, the sound quality is amazing. So, so far, no issues with them. Obviously I've only had them for like a day, but if you're thinking about getting AirPods, Honestly do it because like like I said, they're not that expensive and like if my parents weren't gonna get them for me I would have bought them for myself just cuz like they're so freaking cute. I'm so excited <laughs> So yeah, this was the gift that I asked for love it so excited But yes, that is the end of my Christmas haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again I know it wasn't super long. Um, I didn't get a ton this year um, Because that's not the point of Christmas anymore point of Christmas is to come home see my fam see my friends live my best life because, you know, this is my first time home in four months, and it's weird, but it's so nice to be home, and I've just had so much fun spending time with my family, and that is what Christmas should be about. Also, disclaimer, I wasn't trying to brag by showing any of this. This is highly requested, and I've done this every year. So I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys. But I hope you all had an amazing Christmas as well, or happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope you guys have had a really amazing holiday season. Um, comment down below, let me know one thing you guys either like did on Christmas, like a tradition that you guys have, or something that you're really excited that you got for Christmas this year, because I'd love to hear about it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you guys liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.